Dzień dobry. Dziś moim państwa gościem jest minister rolnictwa w rządzie Ukrainy. Porozmawiamy między innymi o tym, jak radzi sobie jeden z największych eksporterów pszenicy na świecie. Dzień dobry. Hello. Polska od samego początku deklaruje chęć pomocy przy wywiezieniu zboża z Ukrainy, ale deklaracje i chęci to jedna, a możliwości to drugie. Jak w tej chwili wygląda ta kooperacja? After the beginning of the war, all of the agricultural products uh, went through the western border, mainly through Poland including. So uh, there are a few things which are necessary to be concluded in order to have fruitful cooperation. One of them is uh, documentary control on the border. Another is uh, availability of human resources, uh, which uh, should make this control. And third one is uh, number of checkpoints where this uh, transit could be done. So uh, we asked uh, the Polish government support Uh, to increase the amount of goods sent and is uh, received uh, the next uh, result. Uh, at least three checkpoints are working 24 per 7. The amount of people, the number of people, uh, of uh, uh, officials working on these checkpoints from the Polish side has been increased. And uh, also the number of lines on these checkpoints, so the possibility to pass through has been increased. That's why uh, so far our cooperation has resulted in good, uh, in good uh, uh, final results and numbers of uh, products exported through Poland. Czy możemy powiedzieć, ile ukraińskiego zboża w tej chwili już przekroczyło polską granicę? So uh, these uh, amounts uh, have been increasing from March to July, but uh, in general, if you look at this direction, around uh, 25% of agricultural exports, which goes through Western borders, through Eastern European countries, goes through Poland. From 25 to 30% of exports. Uh, most of these products is transit, so it means uh, it goes through uh, Poland to Baltic seaports, Polish Baltic seaports, Gdansk, Gdynia, Szczecin, and then goes to another country. So what we receive, uh, the information from the market, more than around 60% goes as transit. Uh, to countries outside European Union, then uh, the other 40%, uh, uh, about only 10 out of them stays in Poland and most uh, 30% goes to another European countries. So uh, first of all, Poland is the transit countries to the goods which are exported either to said countries, Africa, Asia, or to another European Union countries. W jaki sposób ukraińskie zboże jest transportowane do Polski? To są pociągi, to są tiry? There are two uh, main instruments. That's train and truck. Uh, both of them are important. Uh, when we talk about railways, uh, we should change, so we make reloading because Ukrainian railway standard is different from the European railway standard. That's why we are changing the rail cars and also uh, trucks. I would say that uh, it's most by rail cars, uh, like 70% it's railway and about up to 30% trucks. Niektórzy rolnicy narzekają, że przez to, że w Polsce pojawiło się ukraińskie zboże, cena polskiego zboża jest zdecydowanie niższa. Co pan na te zarzuty? Uh, it's the situation is another one. Actually, due to the war in Ukraine, the international prices of grain has increased by 40%. And before the war, Polish farmers couldn't receive such high prices as now. 
Of course, it's bad because it is due to the war, but once again, the prices for grain, for Polish grain before the war were uh, lower than now. So, so uh, actually, because of war in Ukraine, Polish farmers receive bigger prices. When we talk whether uh, these Ukrainian grains, which is exported through Poland, influences the prices for Polish farmers, not so critically, because once again, most of them are traded fast. Polish, uh, uh, Poland itself is very big agricultural producer. You don't, you don't need agricultural products from Ukraine. That's why we don't agree with such, with, with such complaints. And uh, I would like to say, as Ukraine is one of the biggest exporter and now can't export, the international prices increased for Polish farmers. Jakie najważniejsze zadanie stoi w tej chwili przed pana ministerstwem? Uh, first of all, uh, we have to solve the issue of logistics because from the beginning of the war, Black Sea ports were blocked and now we are working hard to open. So the main problem is to create the conditions uh, that the grain which is produced in Ukraine can be exported to the countries which need them. First of all, Africa and Southeast Asia. Czy to w ogóle jest możliwe? Uh, we are working on it. We see uh, already the results. So, uh, like, uh, even without Black Sea ports, the export in July was a few times bigger than in March, for example. And now, as we have this grain initiative and the export from uh, Black Sea ports to Ukrainian go goes on, it's possible. It's challenging, it's not so easy, but it is possible. Serdecznie dziękuję, że znalazł Pan czas i ochotę na tę rozmowę. Thank you for calling. Have a nice evening.